you are welcome to the creating a complex line symbol in ArcMap exercise. I am Vlada Melchenko and I will show how to create a new special symbol on the example of this map that contains two layers. One of these layers is a vector layer for wire fences and the second one is a raster layer with a scanned image of hand-drawn map. This blue polyline belongs to the vector layer, that is to the fence layer, and repeats a center line of this fence, but it doesn't present this wire fence in the proper way because its symbol must contain not only a solid line but also these V-shaped elements on the both sides of this center line and located uh, evenly on it and so we'll click this symbol sample of the fence layer in the table of contents and in the symbol selector window we'll click the color button and we'll select the black color and write 0 0.2 for the width of this center line and we'll click the properties button in the symbol property editor window we see that it's possible to create uh, a multi-layer symbol and we'll click the plus button thus we have added a new layer to this symbol and for its type we'll select the hash line symbol type in the type of up and now we see these hashes instead of a solid line but they are too short, thick and closely located and we'll click the hash symbol button and we'll click the color button and select the black color and write 0.2 for the thickness of these hashes and we'll click OK and now we'll make sure that we have selected millimeters in the units pop-up to measure many uh, of parameters of our symbol in millimeters and we'll click the cartographic line tab and enter 1.2 for the length of the hashes and we'll click the template tab and drag and drop this gray rectangle on, let's say on the 26th position but uh, the hashes are still closely located and we can adjust the distance between them with the use of some multiplier for instance 2 the hashes uh, intersect the center line but they must only touch it and we'll click the line properties tab and for the offset we'll write 0 0.5 and so everything is okay but we need to rotate these hashes and we'll go back to the hash line tab and write 135 for the angle of rotation and now we need other hashes normal to these hashes and for that we'll simply click the copy button and the paste button in the symbol property editor window and we'll write 45 for the angle of rotation but uh, the new hashes are not successfully located along this line and we'll click the template tab and click this black rectangle and click the next division on the ruler and now we'll add hashes under this line and again we'll click copy and click paste and we'll click this black rectangle and click somewhere near the middle of the white part of the ruler and then we'll click the line properties tab and enter some negative offset and we'll click copy and click paste and we'll click the hash line tab and we'll write 135 for the angle of rotation of the last symbol layer and we'll click the template tab click this black rectangle and click the next division on the ruler so our symbol is ready and we'll click OK in the symbol property editor window and we'll click OK in the symbol selector window and uh, to see better the results of our job we'll turn the rust layer out and we see that our symbol is successful 
And generally, in a similar way, it is possible to create a huge variety of symbols uh, for points, polygons, and polylines in ArcMap. Thank you very much for your attention.